Hello, my name is Michael Ryan and I am Head of Mental Health Engagement and Recovery with the HSE Mental Health Services. Our job in Mental Health Engagement and Recovery is to gather the experience and the voice of people using our services, their families, carers and supporters to help inform the design, the delivery and evaluation of our mental health services. If you would like to find out more about the work of Mental Health Engagement and Recovery, please visit our webpage on the HSE website or you can email us at mhengage at hse.ie. So we use the word recovery a lot, but what do we actually mean by recovery? What does it mean to be in recovery? One of the understandings of recovery is that it's about being the best version of yourself that you can possibly be, about achieving your goals and ambitions by building on your strengths and talents. But so often, this doesn't happen. We can get written off by people, first by ourselves and then by others. That famous line so many of us learned in our school days springs to mind from the famous Thomas Gray poem. For many a flower was born to blush unseen and waste its sweetness upon a desert air. Many people with mental health challenges do not recover because they don't get the opportunity to recover. So how can we help people to recover? What is the process? In mental health engagement and recovery, we work with a concept known as CHIME, which identifies five things that people have said help them to recover. The first of these concepts is connectedness. We cannot recover in, in isolation. We need a safe and nurturing place to recover. We need to be connected to our families, to our communities, and the places we want to be. The second concept of CHIME is hope. We must have hope to recover. We must believe that life can get better. And sometimes, we need someone else to hold that hope for us. The third concept of CHIME is identity. We must be able to express who we are. And sometimes that means finding out who we are first. And that identity is certainly not just one of having a mental health challenge. The fourth concept of CHIME is meaning. We must be able to achieve our dreams and goals, and we must be able to find and develop our skills and talents. The fifth concept of CHIME is empowerment. We must be given the opportunities to achieve recovery, to realize our full potential, to believe in who we are so that we can become who we are. But we must be supported to do this in whatever ways we need, be that clinical, social, occupational, personally. Through the arts, many people find their recovery, developing artistic talents they often didn't know they have. They find hope, meaning, identity, self-belief, all through the arts. I would like to thank First Fortnight for the way they support people's recovery through arts, and particularly through the First Fortnight Festival. But enough from me. Now let's hear a beautiful reflection and chime through poetry from Roxana. He gave the little wealth he had to build a house for fools and mad and showed by one satiric touch no nation wanted it so much. We tell ourselves that if we do all the right things everything will be all right. Morning pages, manifestations, yoga, pilates, meditation, repeating mantras and quotes and cliches like happiness is a sunny day. You don't get a rainbow without a little rain. It's okay not to be okay. Another infuriating sound bites that people say. But it's not okay to keep telling me that it's okay not to be okay and to throw cliche after cliche at me and hope that it's enough of a way to get me out from under this dark cloud or by repeating these acronyms out loud like chime Connection, hope, connection, identity, hope, meaning, hope, empowerment, identity, identity, meaning, meaning empowerment. empowerment. Just a collection of words on a page or a screen. But what do they actually mean? What's the bridge between those words and recovery? What's the journey between an acronym and self-discovery? In a time where everyone knows what it's like to be starved of human connection, we've never been more aware of the power of it. It is as essential as air. It's a nourishment in itself. And when you feel you lack it, the world does often seem hopeless. And hope is all we have. A hope that things will get better. A hope that things will change. A hope that someone will listen. That someone will help. That someone will see it. 
truly see it and know who you are. Know thyself, as Socrates would say, and not in a vague philosophical way. Identity is currency. And the better you know yourself, the better your relationship with the world and the people around you. We're all just trying to make sense of the world around us, to find meaning in it all, to try gleaning an insight into the how and the why. But hopefully, the more we try with the connection and the hope and the identity and the meaning, the more it will lead to our own empowerment. But we can't achieve that by ourselves. No amount of meditation, rumination and medication can lead us to salvation or to good mental health. The key is education, dissemination of information and the creation of a society built on compassion and empathy and kindness where nobody suffers in silence, where mental health services are accessible, no matter the situation, to every man, woman and child of our nation. He gave the little wealth he had to build a house for fools and mad and showed by one satiric touch, no nation wanted it so much.